I'm here to see Mr. Gravelli. I was sent by a mutual friend. Come on. Uh, someone here to see you. Here. Oh, so you're the one who's getting involved with that nonsense for my dear friend James Pegorino. I don't know what you Spare you're... me, please. I'm an old man. I ain't got much time left. Our mutual friend told me everything. Thank you. It made me <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> People are so damn vain. Some people? <clears throat> All people. Even you, even me, an old man facing the end. And I still care. Care how I look. Care that when I shit myself, the pretty nurse has to clean it up. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, well, uh, <sighs> you know. And I care about my legacy. I've worked hard for this, this line of work. Now some Russian assholes think they can march in and take control of rackets my family has run for 50 years! <laughs> you mean 50 years of you bleeding the city dry might finally come to an end? <laughs> I know, it's a terrible <laughs> tragedy. <laughs> But if it wasn't me, it would just be someone else. So it might as well be me. Yes. Let me tell you, that faggot friend of yours, Bernie Crane, his boyfriend, he's being blackmailed by them damn Russians. They want him to put certain contracts up for tender. Windows, bus lines, cleaning, ones we control. These Russian fucking bastards are trying to finish us. What do you want me to do about it? I want you to work with me. In exchange for what? The police have a file on you an inch thick. In exchange for that. In exchange for that guy you've been asking about being brought here from wherever it is he's hiding, Switzerland or some shit. Okay, good. What do you want me to do? A good friend of mine is coming into town to give a speech on the new threat to Liberty City. Russian organized crime. I got a feeling some people ain't gonna want that speech to happen. Maybe the guy you love, this Dmitry Raskolov, has an interest in keeping the story out of the press. Make sure our boy gets to City Hall. <coughs> He's coming in from upstate. He'll be at Grand Eastern Terminal on Bismarck. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Told you I quit smoking them cigarettes, boy. That's what happened to you. That is what happened to you. All right, we gotta go pick somebody up from the airport. Time for some more GTA, guys. So, uh, we need to go to Hematite Street. Cool. Yeah, we ain't got time to waste. Let's go ahead and skip. The cab fare is only, I mean, at this point, we got so much money, there's nothing to spend it on. It, it, it doesn't matter what we buy. Here we go. Tip, please. Tip? I will shoot you in the face. Talk about some tip. Okay, do I need a vehicle for this guy here? I should probably get one, huh? Let's get in this car right here. Oh, damn. <laughs> you might look good in the I just want to loot it. <laughs> I didn't know shit. So I got I to gotta get a car. Oh, my goodness. What? I, I, what? I didn't know that.
These taxi drivers is just ignorant as hell. They not stopping. They not stopping because they know somebody black is playing. Taxis don't stop for black people. You get out your car. Get out your shit. Is that Stevie Wonder? So Alright, drive me to the spot. We're going to try this one more time. Maybe this time. We can achieve the excellence we've always wanted. On our way. Uh, don't play with the windows. Alright, I'm sorry, sir. I don't want to do anything right in front of them because we just failed from that last time. What's going on down there? People just sitting down there smoking crack. No, dude, this is no. No. Get out, show shit. Get out of here, World Star, baby, World Star. Get out the way. All right, now we pick up our gentleman here. Is that what's going to go on? Wait a minute, are we just going to walk up to the dude? Alright, I'm just going to walk up to him. Sir? You guys waiting for me? Nico Bellic, right? Yeah, that's me. Stay in convoy with us all the way to City Hall. Alright? Sure. Uh oh. Wow. I didn't know. I said, wow. Right, we, we, you know we're going to have to do some shit. how are you? Of course. Well, I'm coming to see you as soon as I've delivered the speech. Don't say that, John. You'll be feeling like a teenager again in no time. Those are the wonders of modern medicine. Oh, I'm going to bring up everything we discussed. When I'm done at the podium, Mayor Ochoa is going to be dedicating half his annual budget to cleaning this problem up. <laughs> he doesn't want to start getting reckless with the lives of Liberty City voters. No, John, if it's your problem, it's my problem as well. Take a deep breath, John. That's it. Driver, why is this road closed? Is there a problem? Another roadblock? This definitely wasn't mentioned on the traffic report. I'm going to go and move the barriers. Come on, Mr. Jefferson. Let's get out of here. You thought if you put your hands up. Oh, he got an RPG! God damn! Granada! How does how does the grenade impact him all the way across the street? I'm trying to get out my good here we go. Nah bruh, you're not gonna shoot me with no RPG. On the roof, you say? Man, get down, Nico! God damn, Nico! I stop at nothing. Gotta get this guy up here. Woo! Oh. Come on, throw the grenade, though. You're pretty good with the grenades, buddy. I, they, he survived it, didn't he? They always survived a goddamn grenade. Let's go back to the grenade again. A perfect shot. You are fucked. Somebody's right behind me, ain't they? Get the fuck down. Oh, there's somebody all the way over there. There you go, Nico. Come on. Man, this bitch won't come from around a goddamn corner. We might have got him, coach. Now, this gentleman here, he's up. I 
That boy said crunch. Look at my man's hand. Oh, oh, look at look at his little hand though. Look at his hand. All right, we gotta get these boys to safety. Hey, if you're gonna try to take out a politician, you better take him out for sure. Thanks for the advice. American gangsters like John Gravelli understand the way life works. They get the limits of their power. In Europe, the politicians are as crooked as the gangsters. They don't un You are quite the popular man, Mr. Jefferson. God damn, you gotta lose all these people? Are you serious? That's a lot of people in pursuit, yo. I keep making them turns, man. That's how you get them. Easiest way to lose people is to hit as many turns as you can. Look at that. Ain't nobody gonna catch me. I'm on the move. Man, too many curves on them. Curve. Man, too many turns on the brothers. Alright, we got them. We're gonna get it. Yeah, sure. You are as clean as the driven snow. I'll explain that important cultural difference to one of these Russian gangsters if our paths cross. Ready to transmit my lunch info on your signal. You know I was about to run him over and I'd have failed the hell out of the mission again. I don't know who you are, but you got me here. Goes to show some immigrants have the best interest of the country in their hearts. I'll tell John you did well. What am I going to do with that brother of mine? You gonna call me an immigrant though? That's bullshit! I shall see you all tomorrow. Bye.